Welcome back, guys. I want to bring you another old light flashlight here, of course. Uh, can't go wrong with old light, right? Uh, this is your old light Seeker 2 Pro. And I just, when I seen this light come out, I just had to have it. And uh, they make them in several different colors. Uh, the orange, I love. The blue is really pretty. Uh, but for the price i went with the black those are a little higher they are limited edition and uh, they're a little higher so i plan on using mine not leaving it in the box and as i do the rest of my old lights uh, they have done nothing but prove their self to me so i mean I, in, uh, until i find something else that uh, that suits me like that oh that will be my everyday carry although yeah, i hear about a lot about through night night core and the one that has really caught my eye here in the last little bit is in uh emulet uh ld70 and which is uh i think about four inches long I, i'm not sure i've never held it i've never used it i just happened to see it yesterday and i really 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 liked it and it's from the looks of it, you know, it's probably this long uh, on the S30, uh, so it's probably three or four inches. It's rechargeable and it's 4,000 lumens. I'm not sure of the run time or anything like that yet, but uh, I'm hopefully to get my hands on one and and, and let you guys see it. Um, it, it. It's pretty neat, I have to say that at the least. Uh, but anyway, today we have the Olight Seeker 2 Pro uh 3200 lumens 250 meters throw and i'm sure that a lot of you guys that already have it or already are thinking about having it or have watched as many videos as i have on it and i still i think ordered the wrong light uh, that being said this is this is an awesome light guys i mean it's just nothing other than awesome i was looking for something that uh, that had that real long reach out and throw and uh which would probably have been my the the M2R Pro or the uh, Warrior X Pro, and uh, three and six hundred meters on those. And I didn't pay no attention; it was my fault. I'm used to their little lights. That's mostly what I carry. It's something everyday, practical. Uh, which I could see some you know bigger guys than me packing this every day. And uh, I'll show you a holster here after a while. Uh, and it actually comes with one too. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's start with the box. I mean, uh, Olight outdid themselves with this box, and none the least. I mean, they're check this out. That's re really, really, really thick. Excuse me. Uh, as you hear most people say uh, when they review this product, they all say it's like opening an iPhone, and that's kind of exactly my first thoughts when I seen it. Uh, they went as far as to even put magnets in this. So obviously there's a piece of metal down here that they're, hear that? I hope you can see it. But yeah, it's got one, two magnets right there. It's, I mean, the, they could have put it in a thin cardboard box like this and I would have been just as satisfied with this light. But being that they did go on all out, make this box, I'm even more impressed with them. All right, let's open this baby up. So it's just like most of your other boxes, you know, your old light boxes, should I say. Uh, comes with the yellow thing like most of them do. Open it up. I have already had this open. Yours probably will be neater, uh, but I have on this light probably a couple weeks and all the lights that I try to review and put on here and as you see, I've only got three or four videos. Uh, I'm not real good at this YouTube thing, but I thought, hey, if I can help five people, uh, then, you know, I've, I've done my job. Uh, maybe that I might pick up something that somebody else has left out to, to you know, later. Something, I may point out something that uh, somebody else hasn't that you may like and they missed or so. But anyway, you will... Get your charger, cleaning cloth, and some clips to hold your charger cord, which I have all of that mounted. I don't think that, no. And first of all, you see when you open up is this cool holster. How about that? I 
really, really, really like that holster. Although, I will tell you some things about it. This holster, it's got their Olight tag on it, which I think is really cool. Good job, Olight. Uh, has a D-ring and has this strap for it's a button to uh, you know put it on a backpack, whatever, wherever you're gonna clip it on. And I've seen a lot of guys that uh, that says that this has popped off, even though this seems to be really stout to me. Mine does, and I'm sure the rest of them is made exactly the same way, but it seems to be really stout. But as you're walking around and you hit something, of course. It's probably going to pop off. So, a oh, lot thought about that, I guess. And they have put a belt loop in here as well. It's pretty cool, huh? I thought so. And I've seen a lot of guys, which I'm not sure what they do for work exactly. But a lot of these holsters are ripping down in here. The threads seem to be coming out. So, I don't know. And I've seen a lot of guys take a bigger thread and sew it back. Maybe even fishing line. Uh, I probably, I don't know that I'll even use the case. Uh, being I bought this one I will later show it to you in the video as well uh, but let's get into this lot that's one thing I wished that if there's one of my cons right there this is the hood of my razor as you'll probably see here in a minute but this light did not come with no belt clip and it is perfectly round uh, besides your interface here, but that doesn't stop it from taking off. So I would have liked to have seen, you know, a little over a $100 flashlight. I would like to have seen uh, one of these belt clips on it, like they do all their other lights. So, But they do sell a uh, belt clip on their website, five or six bucks, I think, which... I would have thought would have came with it. Uh, it does have your place for a lanyard. It will come with a lanyard in your box as well. I probably should have brought that down. And it will come with your uh, your L dock. I have these already mounted. I, I wished I could have showed you. Uh, I have them mounted on. Uh, I built a platform for all three of my magnetic O lights to hang on, and. Uh, I have three of these L docks. I love these L docks. I love this magnetic charger. I mean, a lot of people seems to not like them, but I love them. I was hoping maybe I had another charger left down in here. I've got an extra charger or two laying around, but anyway, yeah, I don't. It's your same one that uh, fits your S30R and your S1R. It's the same charger it's the mcc one amp i thought the two amp came with the secret too with the red bottom but evidently not it's the one amp that came with mine anyway i don't know if they make a, a certain edition or what but these l chargers you will lay your magnetic charger on top it'll snap right to it pal then you will hang your light your you got a red and green indicator light on your charger these things are just I love these things and they make everything look so clean and good and I've got all my wires hid I love these docks and I keep it just the, a regular one short one in my car so in case it needs a charge but I've seen a lot of people say that you could mount these in a car as well and you might be able to I don't know mount them upside down where you can set your light on it hang your light on it uh, the magnet in these does awesome as far as hanging upside down perfect it will not hang sideways and if i can think about it i'll show you later in the video unlike the s30r baton 3 and your s1 baton 2 you know you're going to stick them on something they're going to hang right there they're not going to slide an inch and i use that a lot i really do i use that magnet tail cap a lot but uh, as you see, this one right here, it's got three LEDs. And three is always better than one or two, right? Uh, this right here, their interface. Uh, let me show you this one. This one, let me, where it needs a bright. All right, it's on, as you see. Um, but this one doesn't have no indicator. I've had this light right here for a year and a half, S30R. And uh, this was my first old light, and this 
made a believer out of me. A thousand and fifty lumens. I've done a video on it. You guys can go back and check it out. This right here, it's been used, abused. It's, I, I've run over it with an excavator, a uh, 150,000 pound machine that was in sand, of course, is probably the only thing that saved me. And it smashed a lot down inside the sand and I tracked right over top of it. Had to take my bucket and dig it back up. And as you see, I mean, it's got a nick or two here and there, but nothing, nothing like you would think uh, it would have been through. I mean, I, like I said, I run over it with an excavator. I mean, what? <laughs> What other lights gonna hold that up? I done it by accident, it wasn't by purpose. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, this right here is what made a believer out of me. Uh, anyway, back to this light. Uh, they're in, oh, this one right here, like I said, it did not have no indicator, no battery indicator, until you get down, it will turn red. I have never, and I, I own this razor, and anybody that owns side by side or razors and rides hard knows that you're going to work on them. And I leave this thing five or six hours at a time, and it's completely never run dead. Although I see their their run times, and people say, yeah, they're like on the money on each minute. They'll they'll die exactly when they say they do, but not mine has never died. Love this little light. This right here is, if you don't need over a thousand lumens, this is the perfect light. Although they do make some different ones. Oh, that does uh, a little slimmer. It doesn't have this little bit head. They're a little newer than this light. Like I said, I've had it a little while, but I plan on not switching it out uh, because it's proofed itself. I wouldn't, money couldn't buy this little light. Love this light. Uh, anyway, back to the inner face on this one. Also with the, well, what time I'm at it, I might as well show you this one. Let's see. Well, there we go. Didn't do it on the moon mode. Uh, but on the low mode, you have a green and orange and red indicator to let you know where you're at. Uh, I can't remember exactly the percentages. Although it's in your paperwork, you'll find it. Uh, but it, this the S1R does have uh, an indicator light to show you when you need charge. And now we'll work our way up to this one. Check this baby out. This, you do have four battery indicators. So 25% for four. And you do have four lumen indicators after a while they'll go off so they don't aggravate you i kind of wish they would stay on but they don't i'm fine with that um your low mode which it's on right now your moon mode of what is your moon mode moon is five lumens for 12 days and i see these guys in these videos they, they run over these numbers so fast and i'm like what but anyway, I'm looking at this one, and at five lumens, 12 days, you got a 10 meter throw, and it's very possible. It's a, it's a little bit bright for me on the five lumens. Um, when I'm not sure what this one is, but I'm thinking it's a half or maybe even one lumen, but that's where I, that's what I like. But you know, I have those other lights in case if I need that kind of light. 10 lumens or five lumens isn't that bad. I mean, I can handle that definitely. Uh, a lot of them are 15 and 20 even. But anyway, we'll go on up to low mode, all right? Start back down here to interface. Your moon and your low mode both is gonna be on one green light. That's your first level. Moon and low will both be on there. And your low is 50 lumens. I know it doesn't do no good to throw it in that camera, but low, 50 lumens, 52 hours. All right, this is low. Medium. All right, you see it jumped up another green light? That's your medium at 300 lumens on medium, guys. And you're speaking nine hours and 30 minutes. A 70 yard beam on medium. All right, one more time. Medium, 300 lumens. This right here is a lot of what I use. 
is this medium and even down to the 50 lumens. I don't use, I mean, if, if I'm out looking for something or if I'm out walking or something, this right here is where I want to be. If I'm looking for something, I'm going to find that high mold in which on your high mode, it's blinding me, but you'll have three green lights on your high mode. 1,200 lumens on high mode. All right, when I fell in love with this S30R, this is 1,050 on turbo. All right, so here I have 1,200 lumens for 110 minutes. 1,200 lumens on high. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, this little light right here was more than I ever really needed. But now that I can do this on high, and if I just happen to need it, I can step around up to 3,200 lumens. I know you guys probably can't tell much about that in that camera lens. But this thing is crazy bright for 3,200 lumens, and you're going to get two hours. Two hours and 250 meters two uh, wait a minute i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i lied to you it's two minutes then you're going to drop down to 600 lumens for 150 minutes sorry about that i was looking at too many boxes at one time uh i know that didn't sound right for two hours but 3200 lumens when, when you're looking at something in particular i mean you want to see it right there you 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 don't need a very long time on your turbo mode. That turbo mode is just in case you need to see something real quick, see something real fast, uh, spot something out, whatever it may be, but it, it's not intended to run for long periods of time. Otherwise, you're gonna burn some stuff out. You know, I don't think their LEDs will take it. And I love these. I don't know if you can really see it in this camera, but it's got the blue bezel, uh, like most of your old lights do, or mine do anyway. Uh, I like that. I like their color configuration. I like the blue around there. I like their. Whoo, that was bright. I like their setup they got going on here. That right there's a really big help because I don't know how many times I'm looking for something or, or thinking I'm on a certain mold and can I go up one more, then, then I can't, then it drops all the way back down low and I have to work myself back up. That's another thing about these old light guys. I, I love it. This is one thing that really does me. All right, uh, no matter, say, uh, we're on uh, medium, as you see, second light, all right. Uh, it's too bright. Let's go to moon. Turn it off. Hold it. You're in moon. Oh, I see something moving. I need 3,200 lumens. Double click it. Boom. You can go anywhere that you want to go in just a matter of one push of a button. Sometimes two. Maybe it just like I had to do there to go from uh, off to on to whatever. And you can get anywhere with this thing. That 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 right there is one of my... Favorite picks, I guess, about this lot is being anywhere to, uh, I can be from, uh, you got a high mode. All right, let's go to Moonlight. Off, hold. Back to Moonlight. Same way with these other old lights. That's, that's one thing it gets, I, I love that. Uh, a lot of the people complain about this battery. Not this battery in particular, but old light batteries, period. This one comes with a uh, 21700, great big battery, which I mean for run 3200 lumens and to get any time out of it, you're going to have to have a big battery. As you see the plastic piece on the end, the proprietary battery as it's called, um, 3.6 volts, 5000 milliamp. You got to have it to run this, I mean to get any time out of your lights, even your 18650 lights. Uh, if they could run a 21700, they just run longer. Don't mean they run any stouter. They just run longer, and which is exactly what I like anyway. I don't know about any of you other guys. Uh, I'm thinking as in work mode and survival mode. Uh, but like I said, they do have the belt clip, and uh, I'm thinking about ordering one. I do not have one to show you. I'm thinking about ordering one to... Uh, to put it on there. I have ordered another leather holster to pack this in. Maybe 
if it works, if it fits, and if so, I will purchase the clip. But as of right now, <coughs> this holster works. Be more than I'd ever need. And uh, I'm sure I'll probably use it when I wanna go camping or maybe even uh, when we go out riding razors or Jeeps or whatever, and I don't wanna take a chance on knocking it out of this one. Listen guys, this right here, I love this thing. Uh, a lot of people, I mean, they got their their own mindset about it, I guess. Uh, it happens. I haven't got a chance to pack it. I haven't packed it a lot. Uh, but, you know, the couple times that I have packed it, it's been awesome. I, I loved it. Uh, let's see here. To get the back of it open, you press these down, opens up. Slide your belt in there. This holds your tension and get your belt. Just right here, you can uh, change the size of your belt if it's wider, smaller, whatever. Uh, it does have a retention screw. Tighten or loosen these. These also will. And my S30 is not very big, guys. And I've still got plenty of room right there to tighten this retention screw down and to hold this S30. But I have, uh, I tend to pack my S30 in this one. I like it. I really do. I've packed it for many, many years. Uh, it also slides off the clip, but I never take it off. It gets worked, that light does. But anyway, as you see, this is made by Olight. Although I did buy it from their eBay store, uh, it was an Olight Direct. I had to modify it, which there is another video, and another guy modifies his in a little better than I do. And uh, I cut a milk jug in between here. So, it would move. When you get it, it will be stationary. You will have a uh, screw right here, Allen screw. You back it up, put it where you want it, screw it back down. I cut this milk jug, stuck it in there, and now I twist it where I want it on the go. Another thing I really, really, really like is this. Although I thought about maybe uh, taking a Dremel and cutting it out a little more and making it, as you see there, you know, it's not a very big hole compared to the lens. So when you put it in here, that's what you get. I mean, you get, be perfect for a walk light, right? But the other video that I watched this guy do, he wallered his and out and he said that he got up to 50 more percent light while the light was inside the holster. So, sounds like a win-win, unless you decide you wanna pack another light in it for whatnot. Which, that is the only reason I haven't milled mine out a little more because just in case if I were to pack another light, which I probably won't. This right here will probably be my primary holster for this light. Uh, I really like it. Stays real snug. Uh, the retention screw probably should have been a little longer. I'm showing about half threads inside this nut, but seems to be holding up fine. Like I said, I haven't got a chance to carry it. And now I can move it on the go. If I'm walking, it turns dark. Turn it around, hit my button. I've got a walk lot. Love that. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Best 20 bucks I ever spent, guys. Uh, I think that's uh, about, here's your box that uh, when you get this, it will be uh, took apart. Well, good thing old light's tough, right? But uh, it will be took apart and shoved in this little box. That's the model, SK2. That's your model number on your poster. But I'm gonna try to give you guys, I mean, I haven't got a lot of comparison here. I have, uh, the, like I said, the S30R, Baton 3, the S1R, uh, Baton 2. This is uh, 1,000, yeah, 1,000 lumen, 1,050 lumen, 3,200 lumen. So uh, you got a little more throw with this one, a little more flood with this one, being this is a floody light. I'm gonna compare it to this, thousand just to kind of give you a, a little bit let's see if i can prop the camera up some way 
kind of have to look over my dirty garage. Let me see, maybe this will work. All right, guys, we'll just try it like this. Probably should have thought of this before I done it, huh? All right, I know the razor's in the way, whatnot, but we folks are going to give this a try. Uh, this one R on the garage door. You're probably not even seeing that on the camera. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you can see the the Seeker 2 Pro. Kind of like, that's your moonlight mode. Uh, you're 15 foot apart. All right. Low mode. This is your low mode on your S1R. And man, this little light right here, I love it. I pack it every day no matter what. No matter if I've got the Seeker on me, no matter if I've got the S30. I pack this little light in my pocket no matter what. Never need, uh, never know when you need one hanging off the bell of your cap. All right, on your low mode, it's your low mode compared to S1R low mode. It's crazy, right? Medium mode S1R. See, it's got a great big flood. medium mode on the Seeker 2 Pro. Check that out. That right there, like I said, this is the most used light that I use probably, is the medium mode. No matter really what I'm doing. Uh, it's not too bright, it's not too dim. All right, let's see, we'll go to high mode. And this little S30, or I mean S1R guys, <laughs> it's crazy to be two and a half inches long and to be that bright, I love it. High mode, 1200 lumens right there. That's more than anybody would ever need. More than anybody would ever need. All right, you got your thousand lumens on your S1R. And your S1R looks, uh, it seems to be a little more cooler white. S1R on the left, Seeker. And as you see, this Seeker is throwing a flood as big as this S1R. All right, we got some. Turbo right there on the S1R. Turbo on the Seeker. It just plum covered it up. And guys, this is crazy. Look at that flood. I'm just 10 or 12 feet away from this garage door, maybe 15, and it has covered the whole garage door. All right, folks, that's about all I can do for you. Maybe if I've uh, left something out and uh, can uh, help you in any way, uh, leave me in the comments. Maybe you might be able to teach me something even. Uh, I'd be more than glad to hear. Uh, and like I said, hopefully here in a few days, guys, we, uh, we're going to get some, uh, some of the, what was it called? I'm a net. They are, the model number is a LD70. They have a digital readout and I'm really excited to get my hands on one. Uh, speaking 56 bucks for a uh, 4,000 lumen flashlight. That's not much bigger than this one, but a hair smaller than this one. So uh, hopefully guys, I can get one in in a day or two and we can uh, we can check these guys out and maybe see if they can compare to Olight. Got their hands full because Olight is uh, so far one of my favorite, but you know, I'm all ears, so I'm willing to learn. Thanks, guys. Maybe we'll catch you next time.